Good morning and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Friday, September 9th. It's the 16th week after Pentecost and week 3 in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 40, John 11, verse 30 to 44. Please join me now in singing verse 4 of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. Our God is good, our God is kind, whose grace is great and mercy sure, and the whole race of humankind. God's truth from age to age endures. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. Hallelujah, Psalm 40. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah, I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. You brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay. You set my feet upon a high rock and established my paths. You have put a new song in my mouth. Praise to you, our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in you. Blessed are they that put their trust in you and do not respect the proud nor liars. Many are your wonderful works and your plans for us. None can be compared to you. If I would tell and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. In your book it is written of me that I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Yes, your law is written in my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. You know that I have not kept quiet. I have not hidden your justice within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness nor your truth from the great congregation. Do not withhold your tender love from me, my beloved God. Let your loving kindness and your truth always preserve me. For innumerable evils have crowded in on me. My sins have taken hold of me, so that I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head, and I lose heart. Be pleased, O beloved God, to deliver me. O my God, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek to destroy me. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let them that love your salvation always say, God Most High be glorified. I am poor and needy, and yet you remember me. You are my helper and my savior. O oh my God, do not delay. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 11, beginning at verse 30. Now Jesus had not yet come into the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. The Jews who were with her in the house consoling her saw Mary get up quickly and go out, and they followed her because they thought that she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you'd been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. 
And he said, Where have you laid him? And they said to him, Lord, come and see. And Jesus began to weep. And so the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of blind men have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus again, greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone, Martha. The sister of the dead man said to him, Lord, already there is a stench because he has been dead four days. And Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me. But I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. And then he had, when he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. And Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. Here ends the lesson. And now we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. None can be compared to you, O God. Remember your people. Be our help when you hear our cry. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.